Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith, and welcome to today's program. We're so happy that you've decided to join us today. You're going to be blessed by the Word of God and the anointed music that we have for today's program. And at the end of the program, we're going to be praying the prayer of faith just for you. So get set, because we're going to get started right after this. There is a battle between the flesh and spirit that has raged throughout the history of mankind since the fall of Adam. Yet, we can win this battle with the knowledge of the Word of God. The Bible study guide, The Flesh and the Spirit, will give you the tools needed in your conquest for a victorious life. And you can have your copy today by going to our website at www.dudleysmith.net or by calling toll-free 1-800-852-7664. The Word of God will germinate in your heart and empower you to great victory. So make your purchase today and arm yourself for the battle of the flesh and the spirit. <laughs> So good, so merciful and kind. I know because he healed my broken heart one day. Thank God I'm his, and Jesus, he is mine. Jesus. Glory to God. So glad you're back with us. Hope you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. We love you and we love being with you every time that we can be with you. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. You know, uh, uh, the idea, glory to God, of, of the presence of God and the, the richness and the grace and the love and the kindness of God should thrill 
your heart. I know it thrills mine. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of God forevermore. Hallelujah. We've been talking about prayer and the prayer life of the believer. Praise the name of God. And in our last uh, program, we talked about prayer and trust. Hallelujah. How much do you trust God? Praise the name of God. How much do you trust him? Can you trust him and what he says, what he, that he'll do, what he said he'll do? Can you trust him enough for that? Hallelujah to God. You know, I find this out. Hallelujah. When you don't have nothing else, praise God, to give in your life. Hallelujah. In your service to God, you are chock loaded with trust to God. You just got to use it. That's all. You got to use it because when you're trusting God, you, you, you're, you're believing God at your highest. Your faith is at its highest and is at its strongest. Praise the name of God. And we're going to continue, praise God, our discussion uh, on uh, uh, prayer and trust in how it works in tandem, praise God, to, to bring about, glory to God, the manifestations of those things that we want from God, that we pray for, hallelujah, and that God will say he, God said he'll do. Praise the name of God. Glory to God, our base scripture, glory to God, as always, glory to God, is Mark eleven twenty two. praise the name of God, where he says, have faith in God. Let's read verse uh, uh uh, 23 as well. Verily I say unto you that uh, whosoever shall say to this mountain, uh, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall have, uh, but shall believe rather, those things which he saith shall come to pass. Uh, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Hallelujah to God. You know what we got to start doing? We got to start saying what we believe. We got to start talking to the circumstance and the situation how uh, 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 according to how we believe it glory to God there are, 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 are many times we let our circumstance dictate to us the outcomes uh, 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 that could be totally uh, uh, against the will of God glory to God but we have to understand that Jesus is Lord God is God Almighty and the circumstance and the situation does not control us. Should never control our heart, our spirit, our faith, and our trust in God. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. When you pray for something, glory to God, you don't actually wait for that thing to, conf uh, to uh, conform to what you pray. What you do is, is you hope and wait for God to perform, hallelujah, what you pray for, hallelujah to God. You pray, hallelujah, trusting God to move, hallelujah to God. Whatever the devil brings in your life, um, he brings it in to control you, praise God, to control your heart. Uh, glory to God. The Bible says he's come to steal, kill, and to destroy. Bless the name of Jesus. And we got to understand, hallelujah, he has no control. Jesus said, all power is given unto me, both in heaven and in earth. Glory to God. But we shouldn't let the weak things of the enemy control our life, particularly our prayer life. Hallelujah to God. To have a fruitful prayer life, praise the name of Jesus, we have to have a, an abounding trust in God, abounding trust and faith in God, faith and trust together, praise the name of God, hallelujah to God, now in our last session, we talked about how faith in and trust goes together, we talked about how trust is a, a firm belief, glory to God, in the promises of God, we talked about, hallelujah, faith being, uh, uh, and trust coming together, uh, uh, it, it brings glory to God, our belief, our faith, uh, let me put it this way. Faith joins trust so that our faith can be at, at its strongest, glory to God, and at its highest. Praise the name of God. Now I want to move on to this, glory to God, as we endeavor to have more faith and trust in God. Hallelujah. Trust in God forms the keynote foundation of prayer. Bless the name of Jesus. Trust in God forms a foundation, the main foundation of prayer, praise God. Now, you don't ask anything of anybody that you don't trust, do you? I mean, 
if if you trust them and you you know you have no problem coming to them and making a petition of them. If you trust God, hallelujah to God, whenever there's a circumstance, a situation that rises in your life, glory to God, will cause you to go to God, hallelujah to God, in prayer, believing. In prayer, believing. Praise the name of God. Now, how how can we come to God in prayer? Or why should we come to God in prayer? Hallelujah to God. That's one thing that God's been, 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 been really turning over in my spirit. Glory to God. It's, it's the, the simple, the simple, and we've heard this from time to time to time to time, and we've read it in the word of God. Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be open unto you. Bless the name of Jesus don't you know that God said you can come to me and you can ask, seek, and knock? Hallelujah to God. You can ask, seek, and knock. Hallelujah to God. Prayer is asking. Are you hearing me? Prayer is asking God. But what good is it to ask God and we don't have any faith in him? What good is it to ask God and we really don't trust him? Hallelujah to God. It becomes religious motions. That's all it becomes, a religious motion. Praise the name of God. Do you trust? Do you come to God because you trust him? Do you come because you have faith in him, an absolute faith undergirded with the foundation of trust? Praise the name of God. So if I trust God, then I can go to him, hallelujah, and ask him because I trust him. I can ask him because I believe him. Praise God. He said in his word, ask and it shall be given. Praise the name of Jesus. It shall be given. Hallelujah to God forevermore. You see the kindness and the goodness of God. There is uh, 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 not not so much a fail safe. Praise God. uh, But but there is an, an absolute outcome. Hallelujah. When we employ faith at its highest. When we employ faith at its strongest, glory to God, there is an absolute positive, glory to God, outcome to prayer. Praise the name of Jesus, glory to God. So uh, 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 we should be encouraged to come to God. Hallelujah to God. It's a song that says, uh, take your burdens to the Lord. I'll stop right there and preach all day. Take your burdens to the Lord. Don't take them to somebody else that can't help you, that can't uh, exact a change in your life. Take your burdens to the Lord. Take every circumstance to the Lord. Take every problem to the Lord. Take every situation to the Lord. I don't care what it is. I don't care what you face. Take it to the Lord. Don't take it anywhere else. Praise the name of God. Don't try to figure it all out yourself. Take it to the Lord. Hallelujah. If you trust him, trust him. (laughs) <laughs> Hallelujah to God. If you trust him, trust him. Glory to God. If you believe him, glory to God, that he'll perform what he said he'll do. He said, ask and it shall be what? Given. Glory to God. I mean, you can't get any more simpler than that. All you have to do is begin to ask him. Hallelujah. And he said, it shall be given praise the name of God so if you trust him that that is true glory to God you ought to to everything that's concerning you in your heart every moment of the day praise God give it to the Lord give it to God hallelujah trusting that he's going to do what he said he would do praise the name of God so what that what that what does that indicate that indicates this that your prayer life now becomes more fuller it's at its fullest. Praise God. You become now a man or woman of prayer. Glory to God. We don't pray because we're spiritual. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Praying, glory to God, is not something we do because we're spiritual. Praise God. Prayer is something we do because we trust God. Hallelujah. With everything, hallelujah, uh, concerning our life. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. The Bible tells us that we should trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. With all thy heart, with all your emotion, with all your mind, with all your strength. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. Quit trying to figure stuff out yourself. Just trust God. Just trust him for every circumstance and every situation in 
in your life. Whatever you're facing, just trust God. Don't try to figure stuff out. Out. We get in trouble trying to figure stuff out and time's wasting when we try to figure everything out. Hallelujah to God. Just trust God that he will heal, that he will deliver, that he will save, that he will set free, that he will give you victory, that he will give you that breakthrough. Just trust him. If you can't trust that, praise God, you are struggling in your walk with God. You are struggling in your faith. Hallelujah to God. Lean not, the word of God says, to your own understanding. Hallelujah. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will do what? Direct your path. Praise the name of Jesus. So we, 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 we get to the place, glory to God, that trust in God, hallelujah, glory to God, is tantamount and important to us, glory to God. Did you know that doubt and unbelief comes, hallelujah to God, to attack your faith by tearing down your trust factor? Hallelujah. Well, I don't know if God will do that for me. I don't know if God will do this for me. Praise God. What's he doing? He's chipping away at your trust factor. He's chipping away uh, at your trust. Glory. When you begin, you begin to start doubting God, hallelujah, your level of trust begins to diminish. And when your level of trust diminish, so does your level of faith diminish. Did you get that? Glory to God. I'll say it again. So make sure you get this. When your level of trust in God begin to diminish, praise God, so does your level of faith in God begins to diminish as well. Praise God. There is no reason in the world in existence, glory to God, that we cannot trust God. There is just absolutely no reason that we can't trust God. We can trust God. Glory to God. Now the problem becomes this. Do we want to trust God? Do you want to trust him? Glory to God. Well, you say, well, yeah, I want to trust him. Well, my God, he gives you everything in the word of God that speaks of his ability to perform. Hallelujah. That speaks of his love that he'll do what he said he'll do, that he has already appropriated precious promises just for you. Glory to God. What more do you need from him? Praise God. Hallelujah. It's in the word. He's written it. He's given it to us. Praise God. We just need to search the scriptures. Praise God. Find the promise and believe it. Read it. Believe it. And then trust it to happen in our life. Glory to God. When you get to that place, praise the name of God. Now we're talking about joy unspeakable and full of glory. Praise God. We know the half has not been told. Praise God that God is going to bless your life up. Uh, abundantly praise God you trust him for every day praise God you trust him for every moment you trust him in every circumstance and situation glory to God high level faith that's what I'm getting at high level faith glory to God and when you have high level faith you don't mind telling him every little thing in your life and your prayer life becomes so much richer praise the name of god mm, that is good to me that is good to me and i hope that it's blessing you praise god we are encouraged to have absolute trust or absolute faith praise god now what when you say absolute what do you say i'm talking about a foundation of trust glory to god that cannot be denied glory to god that cannot be refuted in your heart and in your mind praise god I absolutely trust God. I don't care what you tell me. Praise the name of God. I don't care what uh, what's happening. Glory to God around the world. Praise God. I trust God. Glory. Can you say that this morning? Can you say that this afternoon? Hallelujah to God. I trust God. Hallelujah. I trust God when I lay down and go to sleep at night. Praise God. I trust God when I'm traveling to my meetings. Praise the name of God. I trust God. Hallelujah to God to do what he said he'll do every time I get into the pulpit. Praise God and bring the word. I trust God to move. Hallelujah. And touch people's life. I trust God to keep me safe, God, uh, when I'm flying uh, 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 from one end of the country to the other. I trust God. Hallelujah. With everything to keep my home. Hallelujah. To keep uh, uh, my family. Uh, praise the name of God. I trust God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Glory to God. Forever. I trust God with my health. Bless the name of Jesus. I 
trust God, hallelujah to God, with, with, with my mind, with my emotions. I trust God absolutely with everything. So we are encouraged, glory to God, to have absolute trust in God. Hallelujah to God. The scripture again say, have faith in God, Mark 11, 22. Praise God, hallelujah. And if we trust God, then we'll believe him. And so that those things that we pray, when we believe, we will have them. We will shall receive them. Hallelujah to God. Trust is like a barrier to doubt and unbelief. Did you, uh, 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 I want you to get that. Trust is like a barrier, a fortress against unbelief. Praise the name of God. Unbelief has its reign in our life when we have no trust. Glory to God. We should get out of the mentality of uh, the, this, this I'm going to see what happened. Uh, thing that we carry. Glory to God in our prayer life. Well, I'm going to pray and we'll see what God does. No. Glory to God. We need to we need to shut that mentality down and we need to get to the place, praise God, that we absolutely trust God. I'm praying to God because I know that God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. He's going to bless me. He's going to touch my life. He's going to work out my circumstance and my situation. So I trust him. So I take this thing. I bring it to the Lord in prayer. I, I leave it with him because he's going to fix it. I'm not going to have to fix it. He's going to fix it. And then he'll direct my path and how to walk in it. Hallelujah to God. He'll direct my path and how to walk. Hallelujah. In the victory of it and attain the manifestation and the victory of it praise the name of god when doubt and unbelief glory to god begins to come as i said in the last session praise god it begins to t chip away at your trust factor trust factor well you know he wants you to, he wants you to get to the place to where you don't know if you really you know trust god do you trust god with everything praise god Hallelujah to God. I made a, 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 an analogy about how you take your money into the bank. You don't call the bank every minute. Glory to God. It says my money still there. You believe it is. Glory to God forevermore. You believe that it is safe. Praise the name of God. The same thing with God. Hallelujah. And believe in God. You don't, you know, you, you, when, when you pray to God, you leave it there. You have patience for God to work it out. Glory to God. We live in such a microwave mentality. Boy, we want it now just like that. We want it, you know, just uh, as quick as we say it. Praise the name of God. Sometimes we got to wait on stuff. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. But the Bible does say this. Even in our waiting, they that wait on the Lord shall do what? Renew their strength. Hallelujah to God. You renew your strength. Hallelujah. Why? Because your trust factor is intact. And when your trust factor is intact, your faith is soaring. Hallelujah to God. Your faith is soaring high. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah to God. Another one of our problems is that we want to figure out how God's going to figure it out. Hallelujah. We want to know how God's going to do everything. Some things we don't know how. We don't need to know. We just need to trust God to do it we just need to know he's working it out praise the name of jesus so the word encourages us be encouraged today hallelujah to god to take up the position of absolute trust in god absolute trust in god hallelujah move out of that place of of uncertainty in your faith hallelujah and know within your heart and spirit and mind that God is performing that thing which he said he'll do. Glory to God. Because you came and you presented it to him in faith believing. Praise the name of God. Oh, I just get excited about that. Hallelujah, God. And I want you to be excited about it as well. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. We got to stop here. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. But, uh, you know, I encourage you again. Hallelujah. Step up your faith game. Step it up. Hallelujah. To the next level by trusting God. Absolutely. Praise God. God bless your heart. We'll see you again. Well, it looks like our time has come and gone for this edition of our program. Praise God. But we want to take a moment to pray the prayer of faith just for you. Need a miracle from the Lord. Let's believe to God together for your miracle father in jesus name god your people father love you father and lord we come together god lord lifting up our faith god that you would heal those that need a healing 
in their body right now in the name of Jesus, Father. Somebody need deliverance. Deliver them by the blood of the Lamb in Jesus' name, Father. We thank you, God, for doing this, God, and bringing a miracle of healing or deliverance into their life right this very moment, God. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We thank you again for being with us today. Now, if this program has been a blessing to you in any way, shape, or form, praise God, we'd like to hear from you. So you can email us at DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. That's DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. Or you can also write us uh, at Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 27532. Now, don't forget, any of our books and music uh, that is advertised on this program can be ordered from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. I look forward to seeing you again for another edition of The Abiding Word. May God bless you today richly. Hi, this is Linda Smith. I head the prayer ministry here at Dudley Smith Ministries. My husband and I, we've been to so many places and seen so many miracles take place in the lives of those we pray for. We want to pray for you as well. Take a moment and send us your prayer need by going to www.dudleysmith.net. Our prayer team will pray over your prayer requests daily because we care for you and we want to see God answer all of your needs. He's doing miracles every day. Remember, go to www.dudleysmith.net and send that request in today. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing God meet all of your needs. This is Sister Linda Smith letting you know that someone is always praying for you. We love you and may God supply all of your needs by His riches. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <music>